As the world is fixated on Israel's bombardment of Gaza, Israeli forces and settlers have escalated their violence in the occupied West Bank, <laughs> continuing a long-standing agenda of ethnic cleansing to take over Palestinian land and cement a Jewish majority in historic Palestine. I never felt this level of genocidal fervor from the Israeli side. The mood in the West Bank is of fear and deep terror. The gloves are off, so to speak. They uh, know that the world is not watching, and so Israel can get away with even more in the West Bank than they usually do. At least 100 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank since October 7th, including at least 30 children. Israeli forces have also carried out mass arrests, closed many roads, and increased the number of checkpoints to restrict people from moving. They've doubled the Palestinian prisoner population, and Israeli settlers are attacking Palestinians and have forcibly displaced entire villages. Some settlers are threatening Palestinians with leaflets that tell them that if they don't escape to Jordan immediately, they will be violently forced out. Many in the West Bank are saying this is the most danger they've ever felt in their lives. Palestinians feel that they're collectively under attack. The West Bank and Gaza are both Palestinian territories that have been under Israeli military occupation since 1967. Unlike Hamas-ruled Gaza, the cities of the Israeli-occupied West Bank are controlled by the Palestinian Authority, whose security forces coordinate with Israel to control the Palestinian population. The nearly 3 million Palestinians who live in the West Bank have no freedom of movement, no rights, no citizenship, and can't vote in Israeli elections, despite the fact that they all live under Israeli rule. Since October 7th, the Israeli military has ramped up its assaults there, bombing a mosque and refugee camps. <laughs> Inside Israeli prisons, reports have emerged of Israeli authorities punishing Palestinian prisoners with beatings, raids, by limiting food and access to medical clinics, and canceling their relatives' visits. Then there's the surge in violence by armed Israeli settlers, who are protected by Israeli soldiers. The Israeli newspaper Haaretz reports that Israeli soldiers and settlers detained three Palestinians from the West Bank village of Wadi Asik, beat them, stripped them to their underwear, urinated on them, and extinguished burning cigarettes on their bodies. This video from October 13th shows an Israeli settler aiming his gun at a Palestinian man before shooting him at close range in the stomach. And two days before that, Israeli settlers killed three Palestinians in the village of Qusra. Two more Palestinians were killed on the way to those men's funeral the next day. Here's what the mayor of that village told CNN about what life is like under the constant threat of violent Israeli settlers. The situation is so, so bad. You can't even describe it. We're living in a devastating psychological state. None of us can sleep. In fact, nearly 500 people have been forced to leave their villages in the past week, fearing for their safety. We have seen eight Palestinian communities completely ethnically cleansed. They're people that have been on the, this land for decades. They were all forced out of their homes. More than half a million Israeli settlers live in the occupied West Bank, claiming a biblical right to be there. But even though these settlements are illegal under international law, they continue to expand, and the Israeli government has increasingly emboldened and empowered the settlers in recent years. For the Israeli right, the West Bank is the coveted price. This is where all the focus is. Israel's right-wing national security minister, Itamar Ben-Gavir, who himself is a settler and was convicted of inciting racism and aiding terror organizations in 2008, has been handing out rifles to Israeli citizens, including settlers, many of whom are already armed in the first place. The Israeli military and government have told settlers point blank that they can use violence at unprecedented scales against Palestinians. Everybody feels like we're going to face an imminent genocide that the settlers are going to attack us with the Israeli army. And while this escalation is alarming, it's important to note that all of this, from the Israeli military brutality to Israeli settlers attacking Palestinians and forcing them off their land, is nothing new. This is a story that goes back 75 years. So the structural violence of Israel against the Palestinians um, doesn't really require a reason. It really has nothing to do uh, with Hamas. It has to do with keeping Palestinians captive. 
Since Israel's founding in 1948, when more than 750,000 Palestinians were forced out of their homes to make way for a Jewish state, successive Israeli governments have sought to maximize land while minimizing the number of Palestinians living on it, a policy of ethnic cleansing that's evident today. What the Israeli militias in 1948 started doing has continued as government policy, and that is seeking to subjugate Palestinians and commit acts of apartheid against them. And so this started since 1948 and it never stopped. Since 2009, Israeli forces have bulldozed 8,000 Palestinian buildings and displaced more than 10,000 people in the West Bank. Many human rights groups say those actions amount to war crimes. So war or not in Gaza, the the program of colonization and dispossession hasn't stopped in the West Bank. And they can pummel Gaza, they can keep it under lock and key. Ideologically speaking, it doesn't really have any value or attachment to them. However, what they want is to clear the West Bank of its Palestinian residents and to devour it and make it part of, of Israel. Israel's current government is the most right-wing, anti-Arab and pro-settler in Israeli history. And its goals are clear. I think what Israel is doing in Gaza is a prelude to what will happen in the West Bank. It might not happen as dramatically as it is happening in Gaza, but I have no doubt that what the right wants ultimately is to push out as many Palestinians from the West Bank as possible. They, they don't make a secret of 